prostitution in the United States. It's legal in most of the world, including much of Europe, Australia, and even Canada, but here in the United States it is legal only in Nevada. That means the federal government cannot regulate it or tax it, despite the fact Americans spend billions on prostitution every year. Tracy Kwan is the author of Diary of a Manhattan Call Girl, and Janice Krauss is senior fellow of the Lehigh Institute for Concerned Women for America. And, um, Tracy, let's start with you. Why should we legalize it? Well, the laws as they are now, and let's just get away from the sensationalistic horror movies, okay? In real life, what happens is the laws prevent working women who are trying to make an independent living from reporting crimes to the police, make us very vulnerable to assault, rape, theft, and even murder. Um, if prostitution were legal and were treated like other jobs, if the management in prostitution were treated like management in other industries, we would have a much better situation for everybody. Janice, how about it? The idea that uh, this activity is going to go on, whether it's legal or not, so bring it out into the open. Well, of course it's going to go on, but the truth of the matter is almost 90% of the women who are in prostitution are controlled by the pimps. And but isn't that a reason it... then to get rid of the pimps by no, having the government step in? Well, even in the countries where it's legal, that's the case. And in every single country where it's legal, the illegal prostitution has grown there. It's just been amazing. In Australia, for instance, it's grown 300%. So, uh, in in um, Amsterdam, for instance, they had to close down one-third of their brothels that were legal because the illegal brothels were bringing in so much crime, so much drug trafficking, so many other aspects. I'm here to interview a retired detective of the El Paso Police Department, Larry Hen. During his time with the police department, he worked many details, uh, one of which included the vice squad. Thank you, Detective Han, for taking time to do this interview. Now, can you tell me what the main purpose of the vice squad is? The vice squad handles prostitution, liquor law violations, and gambling. Approximately how many prostitutes did you arrest during your time with vice? It had to be hundreds. And I have some pictures here of some of the ones I arrested during that time. While working with Vice, did you ever question the prostitutes on why they were trafficking themselves? Yes. A lot of times after we would arrest them, we would talk to them <coughs> and ask them why they were doing what they were doing. And in most cases, most of them were drug addicts and they were supporting a drug habit. And can you tell me where you arrested these prostitutes? Most of these pictured here were arrested in the downtown area. There used to be a major problem in the downtown area near the old library on Franklin Street. Most of them came from that area and they would just work out on the street. Then we had some that worked off of Montana by Shellmont. Some worked off of Alameda and some worked off of Dyer. So back to the previous question, um, the majority of the prostitutes that you arrested were trafficking themselves by choice? Yes, most of them were just doing it on their own to support a drug habit. Okay, um, since your departure from the police department, do you think there has been much change in the prostitution business? Yes, there's been a lot of change over the last 20 years. Those that are pictured here normally would stand out on the street. Nowadays, with the modern technology, I'm sure everybody's heard of the Craigslist killer. 
And that was done through the internet. So you think now the way um, prostitutes solicit their sex is through the internet? Rather than walking? Probably most of them are done over the internet. Okay, do you believe that the prostitution business can ever be eradicated? No, you're always going to have prostitution, whether you see it out there on the street or whether it's on the internet, uh, you're never going to stop it. Okay, well thank you Detective Han for your insight on this subject that is still going on today. It has been a pleasure interviewing you. Century.